Hey guys, my name is Kyle Cunard and welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of products that are really going to help push that hydration back into your skin. Now, I went skiing last week and I made the mistake of packing my case with too many clothes and not enough products that were going to help protect my skin from those cold temperatures at the top of the mountain. So the products that I'm going to go through today are really going to help you and have helped me really rehydrate my skin again. Now, just before we get started, to anyone who doesn't already follow me on Instagram, I'm going to pop my Instagram up there so you can come over and join the Instagram family. I'm posting pictures from all of my journeys on there all the time. So uh, come over, drop me a follow, and do let me know if you've come over from YouTube as well so I can say a big hello. Right, so let's get started with the video. Okay, talking about product number one, which is really important, and it's a cleanser. Now, the reason why it's important is because you really need to clean out those pores before then applying any other products to your face. Now, the one that I've been using over the past week is from Glam Glow, and it's called the Glatty Cleanse. Very hydrating, feels like jelly in your hand, and you just softly massage it around the face. Now, do make sure you're applying it to a dry face. You don't need any water on there to start with. And once you've gently massaged it around the face, you then add a dash of water, which will help then the product soap up and really kind of get down into those pores. Now, something I use aside of the cleanser, which really does help it even more, is this little gadget from Foreo. Now, if you've not seen one of these before, all you need to do is charge it, turn it on, it vibrates, and you just gently massage it around the face. And what this will do is, this will help the vibration push the cleanser further down into the pores to clean it out even more. Something I want to add in quickly that's very important that's really, really going to help, and that's rehydrating your body with water. Make sure you are drinking about three to four bottles of water a day, and if you are exercising, try and push in a little bit more. Okay, the next two products I'm going to talk about are a serum and a moisturizer. These are very important to add to your daily routine. The serum, not everyone uses, but personally I do because it adds a little bit more strengthening to your skin. All you need to do is, this is the one I've been using from Proverb, and you just apply it a little bit to your hand and just gently massage it around the face. Personally, what I like about this product itself from Proverb is it dries very quickly. And some products can feel quite oily on the skin and this one doesn't, which is great. So it just dries straight into the skin. And then what you do is, again, another moisturizer from Proverb. This is a hydrating pro moisturizer. You just add a little bit then onto the hands again and pop this on top of the serum and just massage that in. And as I said, this should be added to kind of your daily routine because this is a very important thing that's gonna help rehydrate your skin. Okay, one of my favorite products is a face mask. That's because generally when I'm using these, I'm rather relaxing at night or I'm on a day off work where I wanna switch off, pop a face mask on and just chill out. Now, I do have a previous video on face masks. So if you wanna go and check that out, I've put the link in the description box below. However, the two that I've brought into today's video, one is from By Terry and that is a hydrating mask and the other one is from Kiehl's and it's the Pure Vitality Skin Renewal Cream. Now, this one, you wanna apply about twice a week, the one from By Terry. As it says on the tin, it's really gonna push that hydration back in again. And the other one from Kiehl's, it's really, really nice smell. It's got red ginseng in it, it's got manuka honey. It's gonna kind of give it that soft, natural glow back to your skin again. Okay, so I'm not gonna apply these now because it's not face mask time, unfortunately, but I might be applying one tonight. So all you need to do is pop a little bit of this onto your fingers. Again, massage it gently around your skin, leave on for about 20 minutes and then wash off. Simple as that and it really is gonna help. Okay, product number four, I feel has come from like Hogwarts on Harry Potter or something, and it's Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Night Cream. And after using this for the past couple of weeks, it really is magic. Just pop a tiny bit of this on before you go to bed and let it work its magic overnight. You'll wake up in the morning with a bit of a kind of a greasy face because that is the texture to it, but it's fine. You're fast asleep in bed while it's doing its thing. Just wash it off in the morning and it really, really helps soften the skin and give you kind of more of an even tone throughout the face. So yeah, that is product number four. And finally, moving on to product number five, a product that's very important to me because I generally get really dry lips and last week being in such cold temperatures at skiing, my lips were like crisping and flaking off everywhere generally might be over exaggerating just a tad there but this is one from YSL 
really good because personally for me, I don't like a lip balm that's really greasy on the lips. Looks like you've got lip gloss on when that's not generally the look that I want to go for. But when you apply it, just put a tad, I think the right word's tad, just put a little bit on your finger and then everyone knows how to apply a lip balm, but hey, if you don't, I'm showing you now. But just apply it to the lips. And again, that's really going to help plump the lips again and uh, get the hydration back in there so they look nice and soft and you look pretty again. So, they are the five products that I am showing you today. Give some of them a go yourself. You don't have to use them all. You can just kind of pick little ones here and there to use. Uh, I generally say a mask. If you don't wear a mask, a mask is always going to really help you. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you're a new person watching, thank you for joining. Please do go over and subscribe. The button's right there. And guys, I'll be seeing you very shortly on my next video. See you then.